Hi, and welcome back to another video as part of our Clutterbug series, where every day for four days, we're talking about a different organizing style. I'm gonna put a link down below so you can check out all these videos so you can really understand what your natural organizing style is. Today, we're talking about a cricket. As a cricket, you're just a traditional organizer. You love to plan, you love details, and you prefer things out of sight. You don't have a problem using a filing cabinet or any other organizing system as long as it's already set up. You are the person when you're done brushing your teeth to always put the toothbrush and the toothpaste away. You never leave it out. You just naturally put things away. But that doesn't mean you're perfect, cricket. Crickets love visual simplicity. They love detailed organization, but they're not always perfectly organized because they tend to pile and procrastinate. Because you want to do things so perfectly, you leave things till later. You're waiting till you have the time, the money, or you're done completely using something before you want to put it away. So you have neat, organized piles all over your house, or you have a room dedicated to later somewhere in your home. Sometimes it can be really hard to know if you're a cricket or not because our fantasy self plays a role. You might think you want to be a person to always put things away in a detailed way. You might want to be a perfectionist. You might want everything behind closed doors. But are you naturally putting things away when you're done using them? Are you putting your dishes in the dishwasher when you're done? Or are you just leaving them you know, on your bedside table? Are you the person that when you have a system, you're actually using it. Everybody procrastinates and everybody piles, but the difference is a cricket really does use the systems when they're in place and they use them consistently. As a cricket, you are naturally tidy. You are, and you are tidier than any other organizing style. So again, if you're watching this and you're like, I'm definitely a cricket, I want you to make sure that you're being really honest with yourself and not getting confused with your fantasy self. As a cricket, you love organization, you love details. You're probably a bit of a perfectionist, maybe an A-type personality. You just wanna do things right. You don't mind taking a few seconds to put something away because you wanna find it fast. Filing cabinets work for you. If you have a system that's in place, you're using it right? Every time. And a cricket is the tidiest of all the organizing styles, but that doesn't mean that you're perfectly organized. Actually, I think your need for perfectionism can sometimes create a lot of clutter, N neat organized clutter, because you tend to pile. You pile till you can do it perfectly later. Your level of organization that you're craving is so insane that it's expensive and it's time consuming. So you tend to put it off till you can do it right, till you can buy a new system or get more shelving or have more storage or find the perfect inspiration. You definitely are an over-researcher. You over-plan, you over-complicate things, which leads to clutter. So here's my suggestion for you, Cricket, and you're probably not gonna like it, but I want you to let go and really embrace good enough organization. Take a look at the piles of clutter that I know you're telling yourself you're gonna put away perfectly later, but how can we create a home today that's good enough? You can go back and make it perfect later. You need bins and baskets behind closed doors that have dedicated homes for your things, so when you're done with something, even if you're not 100% done, it has a place to go that isn't on your surfaces. As a person who lives with a cricket, it can be really frustrating for your loved ones to be always dealing with your piles, especially because you don't want us touching them. You know where everything is. So if I come in and I'm cleaning and I move my husband's pile, he gets so upset because in his brain, everything is meticulously organized, but it's also not fair for you to have these piles all over. So embrace that good enough organization organization, any system you set up, you can use. And the other thing I really want to encourage you to do, again, I might be biased, is take a look at the other people in your home and ask yourselves, do they organize the same way that I do? Crickets have high expectations. You have no problem maintaining a detailed system. So it's hard for you to understand why your children aren't putting their clothes away in really neat folded ways, or your spouse isn't always putting everything back when they're done with it. But the truth is, you just organize differently and they organize differently too. So understanding can help you create systems that are a little more laid back, 
More big categories, no lids, less sorting, so that everyone in your home can get more organized, including you. Because with a more simple organizing approach, you're less likely to pile till you can do it perfectly. Letting go of perfectionism, I know it's hard, but you're gonna see you'll be more organized in the long run. And like I said, you can always go back and make it perfect later. If you're looking for Cricut inspiration for organization, just take a look at Marie Kondo. It's all about visual simplicity, muted colors, beautiful containers, lots of lids and lots of detailed categories. I also recommend checking out At Home with Nikki. She's like a cricket on steroids. Everything she does is insane. It's super detailed. It's beautiful. She loves binder systems as crickets do. So I know you'll be really inspired by her home and all of her organizing tips. I'm going to put a link to her channel down below. So make sure you check that out. This is about really knowing how you naturally organize so you can set up a system that stays organized for good. And maybe you're a little bit of a cricket in one area and a little bit of a ladybug in another. Again, don't put too much pressure on yourself, but really be real with who you are so that you can say goodbye to the clutter. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to put a link to the series below so that you can really watch all the videos and identify what your organizing style is. And more importantly, understand the organizing styles of other people living in your home so you can set up a system that works for everyone everybody. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I thought for this series I would like resurrect old end stories so I know I've shared these stories with you before but these are some of my most embarrassing moments of all time and this one I don't know if it's embarrassing but it's just like so something I would do. I didn't get my license until I was 25 for reasons that are none of your business but I was really old and um, I bought my very first vehicle which was a white pickup truck, like a mini pickup truck. It was so beautiful. I loved her. I had flower decals that I put on the back. But the first day I bought her, I drove her home from the dealership and I wanted to wash and wax my vehicle. And I was living in an apartment in Joe's Joe's parents had like this big mansion and they had an apartment in the basement. And so I went in their garage and I was looking for car wax. I've never washed or waxed a car before. So I washed it and then I grabbed their car wax and I'm rubbing it all over and it's bright red. And I just am like, okay. And I'm just, I think you just leave it on till it dries and then you buff it off, right? So a smart person would read the instructions on the back of the bottle. This person doesn't do instructions. I figure things out as I go. What's the worst that can happen? When I went to rub the wax off, it didn't come off. It stained my entire white truck pink, but not even a nice pink, like a really bad blotchy pink. And every scratch, it was a used truck. Every dent, every everything was bright red. So then I finally flipped around the bottle and read the instructions. It's a color care wax made for red cars to fill in the scratches and make your red paint more vibrant. I stained my brand new, I mean, I'm not kidding you. I had this truck for maybe two hours that I paid all my savings for and I was so excited about it. and now it looks like bubblegum barfed all over it and I cried, I bawled, I sobbed. I'm like, I stained it pink. I had to strip the paint off this truck. It was a horrible nightmare, also hilarious because, you know, and the whole time I drove it, it had red scratches all over it. I just embraced it. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you are also a person who just doesn't do instructions, if you like to figure it out as it go, but also it means that you make a lot of mistakes in life. They're like happy accidents. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.